see how to create a login form using PB6 and MS Access. For source code and for more details, please mail me at etaglobal at yahoo.com. Let us start. Open a standard exe. Create two text boxes. One is for user ID and other one is for password. Use name of text username. This is a size. Copy it and create the another text box. It is for password. Give it name of text password. And give the, give the password here character. Star. Create two labels for showing the captions. This username. And the other one is for password. Three to three command buttons. One is for adding a user. And the second one is for login. CMD login and the first one is caption as login and the first one is CMD add user and one more button for closing the project. Give its name as PMD close. Now we are created all the controls. Now we have to give a reference for getting the connection with the database. That is Microsoft. OLED activate to LED connection. Microsoft. Activate the data object library 2.6. Just add it. Now save the project. I have created a folder here. Save the project. This form 1 and the project name is project 1. Now before going for the coding section, we have to create a Database. We have already created a database called DB1. 
the data folder and the given is password of abc at the rate 123. So you have created a user master table with the two fields. One is username, this is a test field and the other one is a password that is also a test field but it uh, input mask has given us password. So given a two, just two fields for you saving the username and password. Let's close this one. The database is saved in data folder. This is our working folder. In the data folder, the database are saved. Now let us go with the coding section. On the form load, we have to give the connection for before getting the connection. Just add a few parameters, variable, variable parameters or variables. It is a public variables. The connection string has new radio DB road connection. And one record set RS has new delivery road record set. And one more string for storing the connection parameters. CONSTR as string. Now, now on the form load event, we have to get the connection with the database. We already created the connections coding. Just I am going for the easy purpose. On the form load, on string, I declared the string and on the, that string, I loaded the path of the database. This is the, in the database folder, db1. I store the database path in the string and in the str connection string, I store the connection parameters. That is the data source as the database name and the password of the database is abc at 123 and just provider is Microsoft Jet OLEDB 4.10 and uh, opening the connection using this connection string. And after that, the connection is already open while logging the while opening the form. Now we have to add a user. Go with the add user command. In the add user command, we have to add the new user. For adding the new user, first we have to check that the username is already exist. Just open the record set. Just to check that star from user master. That is a user uh, table name where username is equal to the values we have given that is the text username dot text is the connections and Reopen static. Check that whether there, there is any record here. If rs dot end of file is equal to true. It's going to false. That means there is any record. Then do the message. Record already. Username. Already exist. Then just exit the 
function. If it is not x, the username does not exist, then go for the inserting command. For inserting the record, just use the command con dot execute. The connection con is the connection. Insert into into user master where uh, values. This is gives the user, user field names, username, and password values text. Test username dot text comma text pwd dot text we have a close up bracket When I run message, Give the error message, capture the error, if there is any error, it will show the error message. So this is for the insert command. Let, you, let us see, let us open the database. ABC at 123. Let us open and see, there is no record, username and password are the fields. Username, password, values, we are given. Just run the project and see. Give a username admin and password as admin. The record is already added here. Just give a message also here. Record ordered. So the R user section is over. Just go to the login. 
একটু কোটিং দেখুন রেসি পারপাস লোডিং স্ক্রিন জাস্ট চেক দ্যাট দ্য ইউজার নেম এক্সিস্ট অর নট Open. So let's start from this name where your name is equal to this one and password is equal to test pw dot this end of file is true that means there is no record just give the message username does not exit and exit that otherwise go to the Mystery box login success this are in this case we are uh, checking that whether the username and password is existing if it exists so there is if we are getting the record it is saying the username if it is not getting the record it is saying the username does not exist and if it is getting the record uh, and comparing with the password and username are correct then it is getting the login message let's run and see admin just to use admin this is the card user the username already exists and just login or just if the connection is open just close the connection admin admin the username already has been and login the login success change the password the username does not exist messages the username does not exist or password is wrong sir so, and see our user called a a our user the user created and can login login success and the login password is different the username is does not exist or password is wrong so as it suggest close button the close button we are just closing the connections you and dot close and end ending the project in the project that's all for the this video for source code and more details just mail me at etaglobal@yahoo.com